constant care means take care of today, actively preparing for tomorrow. Constant care really covers a lot of very, very valuable and important things. For example, the ability to proactively think about what's happening tomorrow, try and anticipate what's going on, and then take, in a timely way, action to try and prevent risks or reduce risks. But it is not about not taking a risk, but it is about taking risks when you have thought about what could be happening and when you have thought about what the consequences could be. Innovation very much, to me, is part of constant care, making sure that we look for new opportunities, make sure that we look for opportunities that can build our company for the future. There's been a tendency in the past uh, to concentrate on today and uh, not enough time have, have been spent on the future, and that includes me. I haven't spent enough time on the future. And that's why it's so important uh, to give that signal. Constant care is very much about uh, the opportunity that you have. It is a positive way of looking at things. It's very much about avoiding that we have a stalemate or that we have no actions. It's on the contrary, very much about what should we be doing proactively to find the right way of doing things and continuously have the success. Pursuing the adequate uh, level of detail at the adequate level in the organization uh, at the same time as we look for the opportunities for tomorrow. We will take risks, but we have to weigh what the risks are. We need to look into whatever the individual decision requires in terms of risk analysis, but then make the risk analysis, make a decision and move on. In all the activities which the AP Moller Group is involved, be that the ships on the ocean or the extraction of oil and gas from the underground, the environment always is very close to our heart and we have to be very conscious and aware of what we do to safeguard the environment. With constant care, we also need to make sure that we have a very close focus on safety. That is very much the safety of each person involved in our job place, whether it is a customer, whether it's an employee, whether it is a subcontractor. There's been this uh, misconception that uh, no detail too small, no effort too great. But that has never been the meaning of uh, the value constant care. The appropriate detail at the appropriate level. That's what it's about. Humbleness means listen, learn, share, give space to others. Um, and uh, there's been a perception uh, of us being very uh, arrogant uh, in the group. Uh, that's not listening. And uh, we, should, uh, we should listen and we should learn to learn of others. And uh, that's uh, certainly an area where, where all of us have to improve. Learning from competition, always looking out for what competition do, that they do better than us. Learning from that and taking the necessary actions to make sure that we then, in the next round, do it better than them. Well, humbleness is uh, also putting we before I. It's about uh, trust and empowerment. Uh, we have to trust our people more. Uh, and we also have to give them the necessary authority. And we have to push authority down the system. That doesn't mean that there will be no control. Uh, you need to control certain matters, but we have been putting too much uh, emphasis on the controlling part and uh, too little on the trusting and uh, the empowerment part. I mean, humbleness is about respect. Humbleness is about trusting each other. And humbleness is about surrounding you with a team as a leader that you know will supplement yourself. We cannot all do everything right every time. We need to make sure we have a team around us that will make up for the uh, strengths and weaknesses. I think humbleness to me very much also is interlinked to the uh, important uh, listening uh, to the customers and listening to what they have to say, listening to their opinions, listening to their requirements. 
Humbleness certainly does not mean that we are not competitive. Humbleness doesn't mean not to set high targets. It doesn't mean that you cannot be ambitious. It doesn't mean that you cannot set the ceiling high for what you want to achieve. People would tend to think that humbleness is about weakness, about giving up or surrendering. But humbleness is about the respect and it's about having the courage to listen to others. It's about actually having the inner strength, to use a strong word, to allow you to listen to others, find out what is going on, and showing the respect for others. The interesting uh, part on uprightness as uh, a value is that uh, it's a little unique. It's easier to find uh, uh, words that everybody is using, but th this is special, but uh, in, it boils down to that our, our word is our bond. Uprightness to me, uh, that, that means uh, that we are honest, we are straightforward in uh, our dealings, uh, both with customers, as well as suppliers and other stakeholders, but also in the team. Many words spring into mind, fairness, decency, honesty, integrity. Doing the right thing, being honest about what you do, also being honest about who you are, being upright about appraisals, when you speak to colleagues and you speak with colleagues, when you engage in teamwork, being upright about what your opinion is, express it with respect, but express it the way it is. If there are issues that uh, need to be improved, and normally there are issues that need to be improved, then we have to speak out, we have to uh, talk about it openly, honestly, and quite frankly, most people, they enjoy that much more, also on the receiving end, than the opposite, where you just uh, get a lot of nice words, but uh, not so much you can take with you away from that appraisal. We cannot have an environment where people do not dare to bring forward mistakes. The first mistake is often the cheapest mistake, and we must have an environment where people can bring forward to their leaders that I made a mistake, this is what I suggest we do about it. You debate it, you take your actions, and then you move on. We focus very much on, our, on, on the employees and uh, we want to signal the importance uh, of uh, the employees uh, by having it as a value. When one thinks about this as a value and when one thinks about what it is that make AP Moller Maersk so unique, it is very clear that uh, the employees is the particular value that really make that difference. Our employees, that's probably the most important asset that we have. It starts with employing the right people, selecting the right people, putting the right education programs in place, and constantly developing them to make sure that we groom the future leaders of the organization. We have a lot of uh, uh, fantastic hardware in our activities, but behind all of this, that is always the employees that make it all happen. And this is why employee is an extremely important uh, value to us. It is why our employees uh, will make it uh, for the future for us. That will be the uh, issue that will set us aside uh, from our competition, that will make us unique, that will make us a winning team. We have been fortunate to have some of the best people in our industry for almost 100 years now. And we want to make sure that that also continues into the future. We have a lot of uh, employees in many different countries. Uh, actually, uh, we are in more than 100 uh, countries around the world. So we employ many uh, different nationalities uh, coming from uh, completely different cultures. To have a successful company, it's very important that the employees at all levels 
see and find the right employment situation. With our global reach, with the businesses that we have throughout the world, with the many different cultures that we have within the group and people with different backgrounds, it allows a company that has the diversity and it also enables us to have people who are not clones, but on the contrary, come with many different backgrounds and can give a lot of different input, can get a lot of different color to the way we do things. Our name has been earned through a lot of hard work by all the people that have been engaged in AP Moller and AP Moller Maersk for such a long time. Service, quality, reliability and many other virtues. So we must protect our name. We must know and our employers must know what our name stands for. If we only have one chance to say one thing, it should be our name, because in that we encapsulate all the other values. Just one significant misrepresentation by anyone in our global organization, and our name will be tarnished forever, and it will frankly be something that will take a very long time to repair. Reputation certainly is a, f a fragile thing, and uh, it's, it's so easy to tear down the reputation that you have built up uh, through a hundred years. So we all have to be very careful and really uh, be upright and uh, protect uh, our name. And uh, we do that best by being honest, straightforward and uh, being humble. All the other values that, uh, that we want to live by.